Подскажите, пожалуйста, интересует такой момент. Could you please advise me? I'm interested in the following. Some time ago, I studied the subject of the assemblage point taught by Boris Monosov. He describes a certain instance when the assemblage point is raised to a level that is above the normal level present in a person by nature, and it leads to an increase in sensitivity, second sight, etc. Meaning that it amplifies his sensory perception, but in turn lowers his immunity, since on higher planes this immunity must be earned, so to say. And therefore the assemblage point needs to be constantly lowered via food, physical exercise and so on. Could you please clarify this information? Because I want to grow and develop, but I don't want to lose my immunity. Although we actually already lower our assemblage point on a daily basis. We think about food, yoga and so on. Do I understand this correctly? Yes, overall, you're almost right. Just try to pause yourself when you get the question of choice. Right now it is formulated before you according to the rule of this or that, such as either you are developing your consciousness and lose your immunity, or you prioritize your immunity and say goodbye to your consciousness. This is incorrect, because magic reasoning would view it according to the algorithm of end-end, meaning this as well as the other. It's just that additional instruments are needed. What sort of instruments? A free-shifting feature of the assemblage point and the ability to control it by the means of your willpower. Now, what concerns the mechanism itself? Colleague Monosov described it absolutely correctly. I will try to describe the mechanism of the process to you as well. The elevation of the assemblage point implies that your informational power, the power of your consciousness, becomes many times higher, significantly higher. The law, the magic law, tells us that where there is attention, there is energy. That is on the one hand. And on the other hand, the same magic law tells us that the quantity of information implies an adequate energy consumption. Meaning that the more information there is in your consciousness, that is the higher your assemblage point, the more energy you are able to collect from the surrounding environment as well as from your own self. The power of reason in that instance becomes really vast. It gets vast to the point that all physiological systems get out of balance. Because such volume of energy forces the biological processes to mutate, to transform, thereby bringing them out of balance which causes a great stress precisely to one's biology. Which is why so many practitioners have noticed that with an increase in their practices, with increase in their force, the natural immunity undergoes not really a disruption, no, but rather stops resembling the usual state of well-being. The consciousness truly becomes hypersensitive. And if before a virus would fly by you without you even noticing, meaning that your body would chew it up somehow and you wouldn't even feel it, then now your hypersensitivity will not have it go unnoticed, because magical consciousness possesses a greater attention capability, and it is required to notice everything. Because everything, even the most inconspicuous event, even the most common virus can contain information that is of use to a magical consciousness, necessary, non-redundant information. For an average human consciousness, such information might be useless and needs to be pushed aside. But for a magical consciousness, there is nothing that is unnecessary. Everything is useful. Everything can come in handy. Perhaps not today, then tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then some other day. But it will come in handy. Therefore, you should not let any of the aspects of the informational space and its energetic feeling escape your attention.
not in any way. Sensitivity, as the instrument of a mage, would respectively detect that virus. And if before your consciousness didn't notice it and you didn't pay attention to it, then now it reacts and says, look, a virus. It usually acts in this and that way. And you learn its effects by experiencing them on your own skin. And we tend to perceive it as a decline in our health, as a decline of our immunity. But in reality, it is actually not so. It's just our heightened sensitivity. We are noticing now what we didn't notice before. Your body, just as before, will chew up this virus. It's just that now it is showing you, look, I am chewing on this virus. Before I didn't tell you about it because you were small and stupid, but now you are big and smart and I can tell you about it. Look and observe what is happening to you. Observe what it looks like, how it affects your body, your reasoning, how it affects your desires. Look, all of this has a meaning. Before this used to be meaningless to you, so we didn't really focus on it. And now, does it matter? It matters. Any change that our organism goes through, it is here to teach us something, not just to our body, but also to our mind. This is why the words of Master Monosov should be perceived in this exact way. You get heightened sensitivity, you get additional sight quality, meaning that you experience the opening of additional sensory channels, and it's not because you lost something, but on the contrary. These additional sensory channels say, look, now this is happening. Before, you, the idiot, had no use in knowing this, but now you need to know. But this can be scary. It is on the one hand a way to screen a person. Could it be that the rise of his assemblage point is a glitch of a system? Maybe this person just accidentally got caught in the energy field of another highly developed consciousness, which somehow elevated his assemblage point up to the heights where reality for higher consciousnesses is being created. Simply getting you to that plane of existence. And that is when all these transformations started. Transformations that produced these types of effects. That is how people usually get scared of these effects and try to avoid any of these spiritual practices. But people who understand what is happening have a slightly different reaction to these effects. If you were ever down with a fever, and if you remember the altered state of consciousness it caused, you understand what I am talking about. Because it is actually an altered state of consciousness when an unusual reality is perceived as normal. And this experience is an additional mechanism for understanding your own essence and possibly for the understanding of your own magical core, which is also usually awakened in these stressful moments. What concerns the shifting of the assemblage point, it is a common mechanism when the amount of energy and information is off the charts, so to say. Practitioners very often turn to this method. It is heavy food and alcohol which actually do a great job in nailing the assemblage point to the level of the second chakra. And if you happen to keep it there for some time, you will also notice your sensitivity go down as well. Although the flip side of the coin is that along with hypersensitivity, your intellect is lowered as well. But everyone needs to take a break here and there. Sometimes it is necessary. Although that is also a matter of habit, because your consciousness eventually gets used to a high-frequency channel of energy and information, and such a preventative lowering of the assemblage point becomes less and less needed.